This video goes over de-bloating an Amazon Fire tablet, which there's a ton of bloat. So we're gonna remove all of that and make it very functional, much like a Samsung tab or a equivalent Google tablet that's out there, but uh, no roots required. Anybody can do this. I tried to think about the easiest, fastest way to do this. So we're gonna take a trip in that direction. So I will be using Windows as the operating system of choice for this one, mainly because the main tool we're gonna be using is called the Amazon Fire Toolbox from XDA developers, which is an authority in the mobile space. Uh, don't trust and don't go try and root your device on a bunch of unknown sites. If you're ever wanting to do anything with a mobile or a tablet device, XDA developers is where you should go. So let's get on the desktop and start debloating our Amazon Fire. All right, we're gonna start on ChrisTitus.com. Uh, if you go to ChrisTitus.com forward slash Amazon Fire dash D bloat, you'll be able to get to here. Um, I broke out everything, tools and sources used for this video. I'll be using Amazon Fire Toolbox. Uh, here's a direct link to its thread on XDA developers so you can download it from the direct sources. I always recommend you do that. Uh, and then the other thing is I'm using SCRCPY, which is an open source project to emulate the Android screen. So you can easily see what's going on as we do this. Uh, if you want a video to do that, there's a little link on the website to actually see how I do the screen mirroring in real time. Prerequisites, no root required developer mode unlocked on your tablet, which I'll go into in a second, uh, US debugging enabled in the developer tools, and then have one of these devices. Pretty much every Fire in the past six years is compatible with this. I literally bought this uh, about a month ago or so, and it was one of the newer models of this. So it was actually the 2020 Fire 8 release, and it worked great. So let's get into it. If you are more of a text learner, you can easily follow along by going into the tablet. But with that said, let's jump over on the desktop and get into it. So here we go. Uh, on our Windows desktop, uh, you'll see I have the fire up. First thing, obviously, is the developer tools. So we'll just come into here, go into settings, and we'll just scroll down. You would want to go into your uh, devices options, and you won't see developer tools immediately. What you need to do is click on about fire tablet. You'll see the serial number here, and you'll just double click that until about seven times and you'll become a developer. After that, back on this screen, you can go into developer tools, make sure this is on and you want USB debugging also turned on. From here, you'll have access to uh, the ability to run the Fire Toolkit. So we have that done and we can go back to our home screen. Now, I would love to show that actually by a disabled manner, but this screen capture also requires developer tools with ADB because this is how developers load stuff onto tablets, but also how they take things away. Uh, when it comes down to it, if you look at the website back over here, there's not too much you're gonna need. I, I break down exactly what you'll need from this toolkit. The big things, manage everything, Amazon, custom launcher, and then Google services. And I'll go into each one of those right now. So the very first thing, you'll want to do is go into manage everything Amazon. I disabled everything, just hit automatic. It strips out all the Amazon stuff from the tablet and there's a ton of stuff. So very important on that regard. Once that's done, come back into your main screen. The next thing is adding Google services because you want to be able to add your Google account and also install the services. So you want uh, all the play services right now. It shows uninstall because I've already installed them on this tablet, but you just simply click install and it would load up Google, sign in to your Google account, and then you'll have access to the Google store and your tablet will be debugged. But there's still some nuances to the Amazon Fire, Fire tablet that kind of stink. And if we go over to the second page here, we'll just go ahead and click that. And on the second page, there's really one big thing I wanna show you is remove lock screen ads. This is huge and this one's a bit difficult. So you go ahead and hit yes. This takes you most of the way there. Uh, not all the way, but that's one of the biggest things about it is that you still need to open up the automate app. So let me show you that real fast. 
Now on this second screen, I did leave also a little bit of a block info here uh, on the remove ads portion. And that's just click it, launch the automate settings, run it system setup, which we're gonna go ahead and flip back and do. Hit our little pancakes, go to settings, and then you're gonna want to run at system startup, which is right here. Make sure you tick this. All you have to do is click import. From here, we should be able to go to the SD card. Go go to the SD card. From the SD card, we should be able to find this guy right here, all the way down on the root of the SD card, Amazon lock screen flow. You do that, hit import, and then you'll have that step done. That's all you need to do for this portion, but you're still not done. If we go back to the little guide here, once you've done the import, return to the home screen of Automate and click on the ads remover. So the last thing we need to do is just click on it and then make sure we have start and that's it. That's, that's all you need to do. With this done, it'll automatically run this flow and keep those ads off of your start screen on the Amazon Fire tablet. So with that done, almost everything in here emulates like a Samsung tab or another vanilla Android tablet. You just don't have all the Amazon garbage on it, which is amazing. And I use this tablet honestly all the time. You can see all my apps on it uh, during this demo. And it's probably the best $50 tablet I've ever bought once I removed all that stuff. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments and a big shout out to all the Chris Titus members. Uh, without you guys, I couldn't make videos like this one and I'll see you in the next video.